Hey everybody, this is Aaron Murakami with uh, Jeremiah Forwarda, and we're sitting here in our uh, new shop here. Uh, Jeremiah is going to be moving his operation from Idaho here, and we're going to be working on the Tesla turbine projects together. Um, we are having the uh, conference still, but the conference will be July 6 to 10, which will be uh, Wednesday through Sunday, so it'll be five days jam-packed. And um, I recently have uh, taken down the option to buy tickets. Uh, we're changing location and uh, with the new venue and the new venue is going to be this building right here where we have the shop because we have plenty of space uh, to do the conference here and uh, this is in the northwest uh, part of uh, Spokane so it's only 20 minutes from the airport instead of 50 minutes. One of the reasons for changing location is that the lodging prices in the Coeur d'Alene, Hayden, Idaho area skyrocketed to ridiculous uh, levels and even for a complete dive it's almost 200 bucks a night uh, during that weekend so we're going to bring it here to the shop <clears throat> lodging is a lot quicker for or a lot less expensive for conventional lodging um, around town here and also there are tons of uh, very inexpensive airbnb options you know if you're by yourself or, or two people if you want to rent a room or or a whole house or whatever for you know a handful of friends there's a lot of options right around Spokane, so it's the most inexpensive we're going to be able to do it, or that you're going to be able to get lodging. And the ticket prices are uh, massively reduced. We're going to limit it to only 50 people in person in the conference. We're trying to figure out the live streaming right now, and we'll have those prices posted. So if you absolutely want live streaming, don't buy the in-person ticket because we're not giving any refunds to uh, downgrade it to a, a streaming ticket. Uh, regular tickets are $325 a piece. Doesn't matter if you're a student, you've been here before, it's just one flat rate for everybody, $325. There's no catering, there's no meals uh, included with the ticket. Uh, we have to keep it uh, simple. It's the only way we're going to be able to do it. And also, you know, from where the uh, conference is here at our shop, it's uh, we're 10 minutes literally from, you know, hundreds of restaurants. So go to energyscienceconference.com and you'll see all the details there and on the registration page the uh, uh, ticket purchase button will take you right to the shopping cart in emediapress.com and uh, we have a couple updates uh, to the schedule that we're going to be posting and we pretty much have the final um, lineup of all the presentations. Jeremiah is going to be doing a presentation on uh, the Tesla turbine. It's going to be, you know, possibly um, Nikola Tesla's thermodynamic transformer, which is what the Tesla turbine is, and it'll probably be a part two and everything's going to get taken to the next level. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but first of all, we want to mention your new website, new company name, because um, re re recently... MyTeslaPower.com. Yeah, because recently your partner... Is the website. Oh yeah, my, my partner passed away, um, and I had a lot of difficulties continuing to use my other business. Um, I had to move out of my old shop and that's why I'm here in this shop with with Aaron. Um, but yeah we're we're getting we're getting a new we're we're getting a new little or a new place to work or I get a new getting a new place to work and uh, we'll have a new boiler, a new condenser, we'll have volumetric flow on the inlet and the exhaust so that we know those are the two parameters that we were missing in my last testing. Um, it was just due to time and money that I didn't have those those parameters. Um, but I do have a video I do have a video that I'll be publishing soon that shows my last testing. Um, and then uh, we needed we needed to take the temperatures up in the turbine so that um, we were right. We were, we were almost where, where we wanted the temperatures to be, mm -hmm. and the, tur the Lexan <coughs> casing wasn't enough to handle those temperatures, which was like 212 degrees. We wanted to go to about 240 degrees um, Fahrenheit steam. Um, so with this metal turbine here, we will be able to go to 240 degrees Fahrenheit, which will so we we got 400 watts before, and I'm thinking we could get easily get probably three kilowatts 
of power out of just slightly higher temperatures in the cold steam system. Like before we have um, all the other parameters, the volts, the amps, the watts, the um, temperature in, the temperature out, and we'll have the volume, we'll be, have the, the volume sensors, the gas flow, mass flow sensors, or the gas flow sensors for the inlet, the outlet. Um, so we'll know exactly what's going on. We'll have all the data, and yeah, then we'll be we'll be testing at the conference. We'll probably put out some testing, a little bit of testing videos before mm -hmm. the conference, um, and uh, should we? I will have I will have small updates on the project or updates as we go on my Patreon, um, which is patreoncom slash forward slash I energy supply. I'll put a link in the description. So, so the website to drive people to would be your new website. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so, you know, Jeremiah's company with the guy was I energy supply, and that was at iEnergySupply.com. Yeah. And the new uh, company is My Tesla Power. Yep. And the website is MyTeslaPower.com. And if you just go to that website, there's a link to uh, that says My Patreon in the main menu. Mm -hmm. And if you click on that, that'll take you a page with a link that goes to Jeremiah's uh, Patreon page. Oh, okay. And yeah. that's the best way to support him is by be being a Patreon. Mm -hmm. um, it pays all his bills. It allows him to do his research and development and build things that work. And um, Build it properly. That's the, one yeah. of the biggest things that <clears throat> has changed the quality of work um, so much as have being able to afford um, better stuff. So, and then also um, Jer Jeremiah is not going to be posting directly on Facebook and other websites anymore. He's going to be building the blog posts within his own website because that's really where people yeah. need that. That's really where all the traffic needs to go because that is Jeremiah's primary presence. And um, you know, there, there's a social media link so you can go to his, uh, you know, Twitter, Facebook, or uh, YouTube channel. Um, but he'll be starting to post in uh, <clears throat> the blog page on myteslapower.com and then he will put links to those blog posts in other social media, Facebook and mm. you know, Twitter, where, wherever. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that website is already live and if you go to iEnergySupply.com it'll basically just forward right to the uh, new website. And so <clears throat> little by little there'll be more content on there. We're going to get the mailing list uh, sign up form on there for people who want to follow Jeremiah's work. Um, there's also a shop link. It says shop. Uh, eventually, there's going to be more products in there. Right now, it's just three digital products, which are two panel discussions from the uh, 2020 and 2021 um, Energy Science and Technology Conference. Pa those are free downloads. And then there's also the uh, Nikola Tesla's Thermodynamic Transformer presentation link. So if you click on that, it'll take you to emediapress.com. That's Jeremiah's um, affiliate link. And so if you purchase the presentation through his link, through his website, then Jeremiah earns 47% of that sale. Hmm. And uh, there's also an option on there to get part one and part two. So I guess the, the new presentation will actually be part three this year. Yeah, okay. Part, uh, yeah, part two. Because you presented in 2020 and 2021. Yep. And so... Uh, you can get both of those presentations um, at a discount. Uh, saves 10, 15 bucks or something like that from the, the cost of buying each one separately. But those are all available there. Uh, you can read Jeremiah's bio on the About Us page. And if you want to contact Jeremiah, then use the Contact Us link on MyTeslaPower.com. You can fill out a form. That'll go directly to his email. That way he can filter you know, who he feels um, he, he needs to respond to. Because um, he does get a lot of uh, emails and a lot of the questions people ask are answered in the ton, you know tons of different videos that Jeremiah already put out, so it's not really worth his time repeating himself over and over and over. Go watch all his videos. Yeah, I do. Watch his. I have know. a lot of a lot of information <clears throat> in my older videos. Yeah, v videos and his presentation that answers most questions about the Tesla uh, turbine technology and you know o only if it's you know you really need to contact Jeremiah for something then use that contact mm -hmm. link and that's all working yep. right now and uh, and then I also have um, a tier on my patreon where I can I call 
people personally, they can call me and ask me questions. And, mm -hmm. and uh, if they're building a system or something, I can assist them with uh, things that they need to do, steps that they need to take, just just advice about the turbine and mm -hmm. answer questions. Yeah. Um, so that's a really good way to, if you want to get directly in contact with me, like over the phone or something, that you can go there. So. Okay. I guess I, I wanted to say a couple more things about the turbine and what okay. we'll be doing. Um, we we want to build um, the Tesla, or we want to build the balancing a balancing machine too. Um, that's one of the biggest issues is getting the rotor perfectly balanced. And I've had I've built the balancing machines in the past and had success, um, but. The one thing I was missing the whole time is precise control of the RPM of the turbine, so I can grind the rotor, grind the rotor at the right speed. Um, and so we want to build, we want to get the the rotor perfectly balanced, and replace these discs with carbon fiber. Um, so that's stuff that we'll be do, we'll be working. I'll be working on just tuning and souping up this turbine. This is one of my older designs right here. Um, there's nothing wrong with the design. I just never tested it with cold steam. And because the turb, the, there's a couple of things I wanted to change, but because the turbine's here already, I'm just going to soup it up and test, test this turbine. It'll be faster. It'll give me time to. It will give me time to set up all of the, or the condenser and the boiler and the testing equipment, um, so we can get that testing done before the conference. So. Okay. I'll do a quick, um, I'll show you the location here where the conference is um, going to be. <coughs> so this is basically the shop. This is where we <coughs> manufacture the uh, MWOs. Um, this is where we're, I got the little R&D section right here, kind of cornered off. This is where I'll be doing projects with Eric Dollard here pretty soon when he comes up to town. And um, these are some of the pulse modulators being assembled right here um, kind of a mess right now we're doing some uh, we'll be putting up a kitchenette and some other stuff in the corner there so on the back wall here we got a mezzanine that's gonna be 60 feet long by 12 feet deep so we can put all the storage and stuff on top and right here we're gonna build a stage with a backdrop and this is where the pre the present presenter and the um, uh, projector screen is going to be and then this area right here, we'll move some of this stuff over. But the whole center section, I mean, I can drive my truck right in one bay door and through here and out the other. Well, when that other stuff over there is not here. Um, so there's quite a bit of space here. Um, it's gonna be limited to 50 people in person. Um, we could actually have a lot more seating through this center section here. But this is going to be the uh, location. We're only 10 minutes. Uh, you're only about a five, you know, maybe less than 10 minutes from literally hundreds of restaurants. Um, parking will just be all up and down the street. There's a lot of Airbnbs. So you can find the address on energyscienceconference.com. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to have a full machine shop here. Our friend with the CNC mill is going to be setting up here. And uh, it's a pretty big machine, uh, about 8,000 pounds. We got three phase, uh, 240 volt uh, delta three phase that's going to be piped in through the wall. Conduit's already ran, so we're going to have that set up week after next. And so um, we'll be able to support Jeremiah in different projects. You know, it's not going to be free to have our friend use his mill to, uh, you know, make parts for the Tesla turbine project, but it's going to be uh, uh, an affordable price and it's going to be quality is going to be absolutely perfect and to have it all on site right here. We'll be able to uh, produce in, you know, pretty much anything. We don't want to go into full scale manufacturing here. This is really should be a, you know, an R and D shop and then have all that stuff kind of outsourced. But uh, little by little, we're going to move in the direction, you know, as far as Jeremiah's projects go, that there are going to be some uh, items for sale based on the Tesla turbine technology. We're not going to say too much about it right now, but um, we basically are going to have all the resources, you know, right right here to pretty much do everything, mm -hmm. you know, and then there'll be some hybrid projects, you know, between possibly water fuel stuff, Tesla turbine stuff, plasma ignition yeah. stuff. And so there's a lot of things that we're going to be working on. Um, 
as soon as I get this new batch of RPXs going, I already, you know, I sold out almost all overnight, 125 units, and I'm going to be putting 250 circuit boards um, on order here pretty soon. And then as soon as that's out of the way, then uh, plasma ignition, that's going to be the next thing that I'm going to put into uh, commercial production where it's going to be, you know, my own capacitive discharge unit with the diodes and all that, you know, be easier to retrofit onto an old car, you know, with the old black canister style uh, ignition coils. Um, <clears throat> I'm not too worried about the newer cars that much, but so we're going to have a lot of uh, stuff going on here and uh, the conference, you know, it's a it's a shop, but you're going to be watching presentations about stuff that is developed in you know shop like this. So it's yeah, it's <laughs> going to be the most real. Yeah, it'll be the most real personal experience. Welcome to the underground. <laughs> So again, um, you know, emediapress.com is the website with all the uh, books and videos, um, energy science conference or emediapress.com and then energy science conference.com. I'm updating uh, some of the details on that here pretty quick. And then Jeremiah's new site, myteslapower.com. So stay tuned for more updates because uh, he just went on a long needed uh, vacation, uh, got back recently. And <clears throat> so he's going to He's going to hit it running pretty hard here, um, and he yep. should be moved up into the shop probably before the end of April. Mm. So yep. is, is the goal. That so, would be really nice. Um, but I will be working on this a little bit here before I move everything into the shop. Just you know, um, I'm going to take it apart, look at everything really close, make sure the tolerances are are good, and um, figure out what I need to change with it. And mm -hmm. it's it's going to be a really so it's going to be a, a nice tur a really nice turbine. The best, it'll be the best uh, demonstration so far that I've ever shown. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, okay. by far. Anything else you can think of, or? Um, I can't think. Of, I can't think of anything. Okay. That's pretty much that's everything right there. Okay. So um, get your tickets to the uh, Energy Science and Technology Conference. It'll be the uh, 11th annual event right here in uh, Northwest uh, Spokane, Washington. It's only 20 minutes from the Spokane International Airport. And uh, on, they're on the uh, energysciencenceconference.com website. There's a location and accommodations page, something like that. And there's a map on there of the uh, shop location, uh, directions from the airport, and also there's a map for hotels on that map none of them are like popping up so you actually just click on that map that'll bring you to a big page so you can find restaurants uh, or a <clears throat> you know conventional lodging most of it is going to be over on division street which is less than 10 minutes due west of here and it's the main north south street that separates east and west spokane and on division street you know you're talking you know 10 minutes from the shop here uh, so there's quite a bit of lodging available, uh, but I'd recommend looking at Airbnb because there's a lot of places for really low cost and a lot of them are less than five minutes from the shop here. So stay tuned and we'll see you at the conference. Sounds good. <laughs>